All right, guys, so this is crypto. Fidelity offers crypto. As you can see, I have bought Bitcoin. I have bought Ethereum. I am just dollar cost averaging in. I have a cost basis of $1,000 invested in each single one right now. And currently we're doing okay. Bitcoin's up 17%. Ethereum's up almost 10%. So we're up $270 just based on this $1,000 in each Bitcoin and Ethereum. I think it's good to see the crypto that Fidelity offers because you don't actually own Bitcoin or ETH when you own them in Fidelity. You are just tracking them kind of like the benchmark as if you were buying the S&P 500. So this is just a portfolio that I have that I will slowly dollar cost average into. My goal is just to buy them equally. I'm only buying Bitcoin, only buying Ethereum. Fidelity only offers these two coins to buy. And those are really the only two that I'd probably feel comfortable holding long term. These are buys that I don't ever really plan on selling. I'm going to try to hold this for many years. And I'm just going to continue to add paychecks to them and we'll see where it goes. But I want to post this and put this in the playlist on crypto so you can track it and see how it's doing if you're interested in Fidelity Crypto. I think it's a nice feature that Fidelity offers and it allows you to kind of see. But just breaking it down, you can look at Bitcoin, my purchase history, has just been dollar cost averaging. As you can see, I've been buying like 185, 100 bucks, 250 bucks, and just slowly buying into it, as you can see here. And I started buying at 18,000, and my cost basis has increased a little bit, but I've been buying 18,000, 21,000, 22,000, 25,000, and I've even made some purchases up here in the 30,000 range. Because I'm dollar cost averaging, I'm not too concerned. Same thing with the ETH. If you go to ETH, I've been dollar cost averaging in them, thousand dollar cost basis. And I have been, I started buying, it looks like, actually there's two pages on this, so let's just see where it goes. I started buying here at 1400, I just put a hundred dollars in. And then going back to that, I was buying at 1400, 1400, 1500, all the way up to 1700. And as you can see, up to 1800 I started continuously dollar cost averaging. And it's been working. Just dollar cost averaging into these has been making a big difference in buying ETH and Bitcoin. So it's definitely something that I wanted you to see because it is clearly a strategy that has been working, just dollar cost averaging into them. And we'll see how it works for the long term. But I just wanted to update you on the crypto fidelity portfolio. This is a really tiny account, but it just shows you you can start with small numbers and you can still make pretty good gains up 13%, almost 13.5% total. And this will get bigger and we'll keep posting this as we continue to add more money into the account.